Good morning, welcome to uh, a very rainy St. Bennett's Abbey in Norfolk. Um, I've come out on a trip, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm with Gary Sugden, who's behind the camera there, and on his way up from Essex is uh, a guy called Sean Mills, who you may have heard me mention on the channel before. Uh, known as Mersey Millsy, he's in Thumbs Up Photography, he's uh, on Twitter, very good photographer, lives quite close to me, but we don't see each other very much. But Gary and I and Sean are off to Lofoten or Lofoten in Norway in February. So we thought we'd have a meet up in Norfolk in my base up here, have a few days of photography, get to know each other a little bit better, have a few beers, have a few meals, um, and we can talk about plans for Lofoten. So um, you can see behind me the mill, uh, the abbey, uh, actually it's not the abbey, this is the gatehouse and there's a windmill in the middle of it. Um, Gary, who knows everything about stuff, history tells me all of this. Um, and to be honest, it's not looking a promising day. The weather's absolutely gonna be foul later on. So we've come out just after sunrise. I'm gonna shoot this and, and the plan for this is uh, black and white, really, really dark moody sky. There's a little bit of definition in the clouds here. I'm gonna shoot through these, um, I don't know what plants they are, the kind of reed bed, there's a bit of water here. We're on the Norfolk Broads. So there's water that comes through here. And these things are blowing in the wind. I might blur them a little bit. Um, I've got to sort of work on that. Uh, and then shoot the, the um, St. Bennett's Abbey. And then we're probably gonna head for Thurn. We might do some pictures there. And then we're gonna find a pub and have something to eat. Right, so what we're gonna do with this, I've changed the picture style on the back of the Z7 II black and white to monochrome. So I can just visualize it at the moment. There's no sky and the sky looks, looks um, very, very blank. But I can see there's some definition in here. And the plan is that I'm gonna pull that sky back in in post-processing. So focusing on the Abbey, um, I've got F11 one and a half seconds at the moment which is gonna blur these reeds, which I quite like. And Gary and I have been talking about that. Um, I don't mind a bit of blur like that. But what I'll also do is I'll also shoot one, this is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna up the ISO and shoot it about a sixtieth of a second to freeze it. And then what I can then do is blur, is to blend both of those in and make a decision. Um, it could actually be, that I shoot one and just, just use one of them. I could just use the one of a 60th of a second because there's no reason, there's nothing else that needs blurring. So it might kind of work better. It's not gonna affect the Abbey at all. We're still using F11 to get a bit depth of field. Um, and actually this kind of reminds me of a place called Hadley Castle in, in Essex where I used to do, I've done a city and guilds in photography years ago and that was one of my portfolio pieces. Looks very similar to this. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna raise this up a fraction the tripod because I want to get above these front reeds on the right here but I also quite like the ones that are bending in making a bit of a frame on the left so something like that let's just show you what that looks like okay so that's the composition there so the exposure's bang on histograms fine um, I do like that composition I like the way these reeds just lean in here uh, and as you can imagine that with a dark sky, that I think is gonna look quite nice. Let's just shoot that. Perfect, right. Um, here comes the, the image. Tell me what you think. So while we're talking about the weather, um, you may have noticed that I'm wearing some new gloves. So uh, Valorette reached out to me and, and wondered if I wanted to do a collaboration with them. And these are absolutely wonderful. Um, they asked me to choose the ones I wanted. I've got, they're made in Norway. Really, really good quality. Absolutely superb. They've got the uh, magnetic catch here. So you can take this finger out here and then that clips 
and magnetically attaches to that magnet, which I really quite like. So you can use the camera, You've got one on the finger, You've got one on the thumb. So that works really, really well for pressing screens and stuff. I really love that. But these are fur line. These are the Tinden uh, in the range. And the reason I got these, obviously we've just talked about going to Lofoten and Lofoten in February is gonna be cold as is England <laughs> in October. So um, I thought I'd get something at fur line. I do suffer with really cold hands. It's something that really annoys me when I'm out in the field, he's trying to operate the camera, your hands are cold. It's not ideal. So these are gonna be fantastic. They've got little zips on here, so you can keep SD cards if you want, or what I've done with this is I have put in, you've got this little carabina um, tripod key, so I'll uh, key there, things to try. And I, I normally hold this on the, or hang it on the tripod, but actually just put it in the glove there. Works really, really well to zip that up. And that's kept safe, maybe keys or something like that. Um, but these feel really, really warm. It's the first time I've worn them because it obviously hasn't been really cold until now. So looking forward to using these. Um, if you want to go and buy a pair, go and check out their website. I'll put a link in the description. And I've also got an affiliate link for you to click on. Um, and if you buy it through the affiliate link, I get a little bit of money, which is great for me. It keeps the channel uh, going smoothly. So um, anyway, let's stop there. Photographs in the bag. We're going to move on to meet Sean now, and then from there on, who knows where we're going to end up. Oh, well, wow, that's foul out there now. Um, absolutely drenched. At least my hands are dry in these lovely Valorette gloves, so... Go and get yourself a pair, check them out. Photography gloves especially, really, really nice. Um, I'll put both of these images on the screen. So one at a faster shot should be one was shot at a 60th of a second at 800 ISO and one at about a second at 64 ISO. And I might use the blurred one, but see which one you prefer. I'll do them both, I'll put them both up and I'll show you the one that I've chosen. Um, thanks very much. Then I'm going to call it a day there. We're going to go and find Sean, uh, who's struggling on his way up from Colchester. So we're going to go and find Sean, have a bit of breakfast, and see you next week. We'll be somewhere else in the Norfolk Broads. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching.